Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at simplifying logarithmic terms, maybe I should say expressions, um, and we're going to do this by applying the properties of logarithms. So before we get started on simplifying, let's just review the three properties of logarithms. First, we have same base multiplication. And with same base multiplication, what that means is that if we have log base b of m plus log base b of n, that's the same thing as just one single logarithm where the argument is m times n. So notice I combine the two, uh, so now we have one logarithm, same base, multiply the exponents, uh, the arguments, that same base multiplication. For same base division, we could say log base b of m minus log base b of n, b of n is equal to log base b of m divided by n. So in this case, again, notice it's just a single logarithm but the arguments uh, form a fraction. The arguments form a fraction, one logarithm. A lot of times students will say log base b of m divided by log base b of n, and that would be incorrect. That's not the same thing. This is just bringing two separate logarithms with the same base together. Since it's subtraction, it turns the, uh, the arguments into division. And lastly, if we have power to a power, if we have log base b of m to the r, we can rewrite this as r times log base b of m. So the exponent actually becomes the coefficient and it's being multiplied out in front. Uh, something else we might want to know before we get started with the rest of these are some of the identities. Um, so if we have log base b of b, log base b of b just simplifies to 1. And if we have log base b of 1, that would simplify to 0. Because if we think about logarithms, this first one would be saying b to what power is b, and that would be 1, so that's why log base b of b is 1. And then if we have log base b of 1, that's saying b to what power equals 1, and that would be b to the power of 0. Okay, let's look at some examples. So first, let's talk about base 10. Base 10 is the most common type of logarithm because that's the base that we live in. Um, so if you see just log and there's no subscript indicating there's no base, it is assumed to be base 10. Um, so given that, let's simplify each logarithm. So if we just have log of 100, remember this is equivalent to log base 10 of 100. So this is saying 10 to what power is 100? And that would simplify to 2. Using the previous, uh, the power to a power and the identity, what we could do is we could rewrite, if, if it's possible, and in every example we're going to see here it will be possible, rewrite the argument as a power of the base. So we could say that this is log base 10 of 10 to the second power. And then power to a power says if the argument has an exponent, we can write it as the coefficient in front of the logarithm. So it would be 2 times log base 10 of 10. Well, log base 10 of 10, this is the identity. This is just a factor of 1. Then we get 2 times 1, which equals 2. So if you want a little more concrete, rather than playing the, it's not really a guessing game, but just kind of like looking at it abstractly, we can look at it much more concrete by rewriting the argument so that the argument matches, the, 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 the base of the argument matches the base of the logarithm. So here we have log base 10, right, because it's not there, log base 10 of 1 tenth. And so again, what we could do is we could say, wait, I can rewrite 1 tenth as a power of 10. That would be 10 to the negative 1. And then once we have that and we have an exponent, we can move the exponent out in front and say this is the same thing as negative 1 times log base 10 of 10. Log base 10 of 10 is 1, and negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. So if we want to, um, we can say negative 1. Well, we should because that's what it's asking us to do. In our last example, we have log base 10 of 10,000. So let's rewrite this. Log base 10, this would be 10 to the fourth power and this would be 4 times log base 10 of 10. Log base 10 of 10 is 1, and 4 times 1 is 4. So this would simplify to 4. Now we're going to look at other bases aside from base 10, and we want to figure out the exact values without using a calculator. So again, I would apply that power to a power property for each of these uh, just to take the abstractness out of it. So for power to a power, our goal is to take the argument and write it as a power of the base. And that does require us to think what power of 3 is 81? It's 3 to the 4th. So we could rewrite 81 as 3 to the 4th. 
then we can use that power to a power property to rewrite this as four times log base three of three, and log base three of three is one, four times one is four. And if we look at the, you know, I've turned this expression into an equation, this would be saying the base to the exponent equals the argument. So three to the fourth equals 81, which is a true statement. Our next example, so we have log base eight, 60, uh, one over 64, that would be eight to the negative two because eight squared is 64. And then to find the reciprocal, we would want a negative exponent. Then this would become negative two times log base eight of eight. Log base eight of eight is one and negative two times one is negative two. Our next two examples get a little bit weirder. Oh boy. What we want to do, um, so we have log base two of the fifth root of 16. So first thing I might do is let's get rid of the radical. The radical is not going to help us here. So this will be log base two. That would be 16 to the one fifth. And now if you want to, you can just preemptively move the one fifth. We don't need the, well, I mean, we need it, but we can move it to the front as the coefficient. So we could rewrite this as one fifth times log base two of 16. And we're still not done yet um, because we haven't evaluated this yet. Uh, 16 is a power of two. It is the fourth power of two. So we would say log base two of two to the fourth. Then we could move the four out joining the coefficient that's already there of one fifth. This would be four over one. So this would be four over five if we multiplied four times one fifth. Four over five times log base two of two. Log base two of two is one, whoops, one. And one times four fifths is four fifths. Oh boy, what do we have here? Okay, so we already have a, a exponent on the argument. So we can pull that out in front. That would be negative one times log base five of 125. And then um, 125 is the third power of five, so we could say five cubed. We can pull the three out, the three would go in front, get multiplied to the negative one. Three times negative one would be negative three times log base five of five. Log base five of five is one, and negative three times one is negative three. So log base five of 125 to the negative first is negative three. All right, I think there's four more examples. So here we have, oh, this was one I just talked about. Uh, so we could re we could use the same thing. Um, I want to write two as a power, sorry, I want to write one as a power of two. Well, that would be two to the power of zero. Then we could pull the zero out in front as the coefficient, and then we would have log base two of two. This equals one, and zero times one is equal to zero. If you happen to know that if the argument is one, then the logarithm must equal zero, you can probably skip that step and just say, I know this equals zero thanks to the properties discussed on the previous slide. All right, in our next example, we have log base seven of negative 49. Um, so our goal here is to write negative 49 as a power of seven. Um, that's not possible because the powers of seven are always positive. So this is not a thing. Um, so we would say, no, we're not gonna find the exact value. There is no exact value, right? The argument must be positive. All right, in our last two examples, we're gonna look at our natural log just to make sure we get this, okay? So natural log, remember it is a logarithm. It's just a little bit unusual because, well, the base itself is unusual too. But here I see I have an exponent, so I'm gonna pull the exponent out in front. That would be 5.3 times the ln of e. Well, the ln of e, remember ln, this is log base e. So this is saying, and then it would be of e because that's the argument, log base e of e, that equals one. So we would have 5.3 times one. This would uh, simplify to 5.3. In our final example, we have three, so we already have a coefficient, that's nice, uh, uh, times the natural log of the square root of e. We don't want the square root, we're gonna rewrite the square root as an exponent, that would be one over two. Now that it's an exponent, we can pull it out in front. It joins the three via multiplication three times one half is three over two. So that's three over two times the ln of e. The ln of e, so log base e of e is one, and this would just end up being three over two. This has been several examples of simplifying log logarithmic terms using the power to a power property.